In this video, I'm going to talk about the new tool in our toolbar called Select Techniques. When I turn on that tool, it opens up the Select Techniques window. And here you can see that I have currently got two techniques turned on and they're both in use. And I can tell that because of the little red bullet right here. If I, for example, click on the cut technique, I get a green bullet. So a green bullet means that the technique is turned on and a red bullet means that the technique is turned on and is currently in use. And so I can turn on all of the techniques and what happens is that will update an information in the object property so it interacts with our tools and toolbars. So in other words, if I selected a part of this design, I would have all of the different techniques available in the object properties. And sometimes when you're learning, it's a little bit confusing to have so many choices. And so you can use the select techniques tool to say, I don't plan on doing any stenciling and I don't plan on doing any crystals. I might do some cutting. I'm definitely going to do some embroidery and I have some paint. So, you know, those are the things that I'm current you know, want to use. And so you say, okay, and it'll update the object property. So it took away the crystal fill options. It took away the stenciling options. And so, yeah, that's an interactive tool that when you choose uh, the tool, a little select techniques window opens up and this is where you can turn them on or off. Now I can turn on a technique by clicking on it and I get a green bullet. Green means that the tool is turned on, uh, but not necessarily used in the design yet versus red, which means this tool is turned on and there are currently objects in the design that are using this tool. So I know looking at this design that it's mainly been set up for paint, uh, but I believe I had clicked on this gray area here and set this up as an applique, which of course is an embroidery element. So if I t said, no, I don't want to applique this and I turned it back down to let's say a paint net fill, now, if I go back and look at my Select Techniques option, notice that Embroidery, although still green, is no longer red, which means it's no longer in use. And at this point, if I didn't want to have any embroidery options, I could turn it off. I could say, you know what, I'm just planning on doing some cutting and some painting today. Say OK. And again, if I select on a, an object, now I have specifically the tools and the object properties that are available for the techniques that I had selected. So yeah, one more time, right here on the top toolbar, we have the Select Techniques tool, and it's how you can open up the window and turn on or off techniques and then interact with your object properties toolbar.